Hi guys, it's Lindsay Ann and today we are doing a highly requested video with my How to Frost a Cupcake tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you my favorite bakery style cupcake swirls. These are great for any occasion and any skill level. All you're going to need are some cupcakes, some sprinkles, an assortment of piping tips and a batch of buttercream frosting and I'll leave a link down below to all my favorite recipes that I used in this video. So the first tip in piping that perfect bakery style swirl is to twist the bag right at the top of the frosting and you're going to hold it between your thumb and your forefinger. Then just wrap your fingers around the rest of the bag, hold it at a 90 degree angle and that's going to give you that nice even steady pressure when you're piping. So today I'm going to show you six of my all time favorite go to bakery style swirls. So our first design is definitely the easiest and most foolproof. All you're going to do is spread or pipe a little dollop of frosting right on the cupcake and roll the top right in a bowl of sprinkles to even it all out. And I'm using this pretty pink mix from my DIY sprinkle blend video. Then just take a small round tip to pipe a little swirl right in the center and add a little candy or sprinkle to finish it off. And there you have it, super simple but totally impressive. So our next cupcake is a spin on the classic buttercream swirl rose and I have a whole video on my channel on how to make these if you want to check that out but basically just start with a closed star tip right in the center of the cupcake, add a 90 degree angle and pipe all the way around the cupcake to the edge. And by not building the frosting up on top of itself it creates this gorgeous rose design. And if you mess up don't worry just wipe off the frosting and start over. And I usually add a little candy leaf to these but today I used my custom sugar pearl sprinkle blend to give it a really elegant touch. So this next cupcake is a simple but beautiful french tip swirl. I love this one. All you're going to need is an open star french tip. Start in the center, work your way towards the edge, go all the way around and then start building up on itself and pull away. The main thing you just want to remember is to keep the bag straight up and down the entire time you pipe for that perfect crisp clean swirl. Then go ahead and decorate it or keep it simple and classic. Alright our next cupcake is really fun. You're just going to need two different tips and two different colored frostings. So you're going to start with your first color in a piping bag with a round tip and pipe a little dollop in the center. Then we're going to pipe two rings right around it and you can even put a little marshmallow or a raspberry in the center too if you'd like for a fun surprise. Then take your second color in a bag fitted with a closed star tip and squeeze right in the center creating a pretty little ruffle. Finish it off with a sprinkle, a candy or a piece of fruit and you have got a really unique, fun, two colored cupcake. Ooh la la, our next cupcake is a soft feminine ruffle swirl. So just take a closed star tip, start at one edge and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze with steady pressure as you slowly pipe all the way around the cupcake and up on top of itself creating this gorgeous ruffly swirl. And the firmer you squeeze and slower you pipe, the more ruffles you're going to create. So this is for the ultimate frosting lover. Now if you liked that dual color frosting action you are going to love my two toned color frosting swirl. So just take two colors of frosting and wrap them up in some plastic wraps and twist the ends shut. Then just twist the two colors together, give it a little snip and place them in a piping bag fitted with any kind of tip you like. And I have a whole video on my channel dedicated to two toned swirls if you guys want to see more details on this one. Then just pipe out some frosting until you see both colors come out. Start in the center, work your way to the edge and swirl all the way around and release pressure pulling away. And there you have your beautiful two-toned color frosting swirl. This would be great for a sporting event or the holidays and then you can go ahead and decorate it to match the theme of any event. This one comes out so pretty and is really versatile. If you guys give these a try, be sure to tag me in a picture on social media at Lindsay Ann Bakes. I love seeing your recreations and all the creative color combinations you guys come up with. So there you have my favorite bakery style swirls. Let me know which was your favorite. I hope you guys loved this tutorial. Don't forget, head on over to lindsayannbakes.com for the cupcake and frosting recipe and tons more that I know you're going to love. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel to be the first to see my all new videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!